The CIA was not the only government agency interested in the possibilities LSD and other drugs presented for mind control. The Army Chemical Corps first started working with the CIA and then branched off on its own. It too tested drugs on unwitting victims and a death would result. The case of this man, Harold Blower, a tennis pro, seen here with his daughter Elizabeth, is well known. In 1953, Blower was a private patient at the New York State Psychiatric Institute. He was given five injections of a mescaline derivative that was being tested secretly for the Army Chemical Corps. With the fifth injection, Harold Blower died. As with the Olson case, a 22-year cover-up followed until finally the Army admitted the real details of Blower's death. Since the initial news stories of Harold Blower's death, close to 5,000 documents previously classified, have been released by the Army and obtained by ABC News. They provide valuable insight into Army activities at the time of Blower's death and where the Army went from there with their own drug testing program. From a previously classified deposition of Dr. James Cattell, who administered the mescaline derivative, on the purpose of the drug testing, to produce symptoms similar to those that you see in schizophrenia, on how much the patient knew about all this. We didn't delineate all the possibilities of what might happen because then you contaminate your experiment. Cattell then relates that he never even knew what drug he had given Harold Blower because of the secrecy of the army experiments. We didn't know whether it was dog piss. This was secret, this was a secret. We weren't in on it. We asked Blower's daughter Elizabeth for her reaction. What? <laughs> How can anybody react to that? I mean, that is so far from, from what you'd expect from a human being, never mind a doctor, never mind a professional specialist who's supposed to care about people's minds. It's, it's unbelievable. A suit filed by Elizabeth Barrett against the Army Chemical Corps is now pending in federal court.